today we will look at how to check out ebooks on your iPhone or iPad using the OverDrive app. To get started, you will need a valid library card and PIN number with your Apple ID and password. Before you may check out books, you will first need to download the OverDrive Media Console app onto your iPad or iPhone. To do so, you will launch your App Store and search for OverDrive. You will be looking for OverDrive Media Console Library eBooks and Audiobooks. Once you find it, tap on Free and install the app. A window will open asking for your Apple ID and password. Once the OverDrive app is downloaded, you will want to open it. For eBooks, you will need to authorize the app with an Adobe ID. Once you open the menu, you will see Settings. Click on Settings and you will see the option to Authorize. Once you click on Authorize, it will give you the option to put in your Adobe ID if you already have one. If not, you can get a free Adobe ID. It will take you to a form to fill out to create an Adobe ID. You will want to make sure you write down your Adobe ID in case you'll need to access it later. Once you establish your Adobe ID, you will go back and put it in and authorize your device. Once your device is authorized, you will want to add the St. Louis County Library as one of your libraries. To do this, you will click on Add a Library and a box will come up asking for a zip code. Once you put in your zip code, you can search and it will bring up a list of libraries in your general area. You can click on any of our branches or the main St. Louis County Library. You want to make sure you star the St. Louis County Library so it will remember just tap on St. Louis County Library and it will take you into our catalog. Before you can check on an ebook, log into your OverDrive account. To do this, you'll tap on the My Account icon, sign in with your library card number and PIN, and this will take you into your bookshelf. Once you check books out, they will display here so you can download them later. We will go ahead and click on Settings. This will show you your default lending options. Click on the options you would like and click Save, and it will save your settings. So when you click on Borrow a Book, it will automatically go to those defaults. To search for a book, you can do it a couple different ways. You can browse for books, or if you know the specific title or author, you can use the search feature and search for the author. It will bring up a list of books that we have by that author. If you're looking for a specific format, you can click on Format and it will display different formats the books come in. For the OverDrive app on the iPad, you will want to make sure you look for EPUB books. The books with the little gray book in the corner are ones that are currently checked out. The ones with the black book in the corner are ones that you can check out now. You can also limit the search by clicking on the Show Me Titles with Only Copies Available and it will display books that you can check out right now. Say you find a book that looks interesting, click on the book cover and it will give you information about the book and an option to borrow. If you just want to browse for books, you'll click on the menu icon. It gives you the option to browse for books. Say we're looking for a mystery book. We would click on All Fiction, and then on the left hand side there's an option to select by subject. Once in here, we can limit down our search to mystery, and it will give us all the mystery books. We can show copies only available, and we can see what we can check out now. Click on a title that looks interesting, make sure it's in the format that we need, and click Borrow. It will put the book on our bookshelf, and from here we can download it into the app. You'll click the Download button, and it will give you the option to select your format. Since we're using the OverDrive app, we want to make sure we click on Adobe EPUB, and then Confirm and Download. It will load the title into our account. From here, we'll click on the Menu button, and then go into our bookshelf in our app, and the book will appear. Tap on the book cover and it will open it up. If you need to adjust the font size or settings, just tap in the middle of the book and the menus will come down. To get more books, tap on the menu icon and then click on Bookshelf. From here, you can add a book which will take you directly into the St. Louis County Library's catalog where you can search for more books. If you finish a book early and would like to return it, hold down on the cover of the book and it will pop up. It will give you the option to delete, return. If you want to delete it, it will just remove it from the device. If you want to return it early so you can check out other books, tap on return. And it will ask you if you really want to return it. Click on return. And it will remove the book from your account and your device. Thank you for choosing the St. Louis County Library. If you have other questions or need help, please contact us.